I'm going to be talking about antibiotics, mechanism of action, and some general overview. This is a very important topic, especially in the exams. So the antibiotics are grouped together and do work on a specific part of the bacteria. So let's see how we're going to make that simple. Some antibiotics will work on the cell wall, such as penicillin, cephalosporin, and vancomycin. The one that will work in the cell membrane will be the polymexin. Another group will work on the folic acid synthesis, which is important for DNA. That will be the sulfa and the bactrim. So we talked about the cell wall, the cell membrane, the folic acid. Let's just take number four. Some antibiotics will work on nucleic acid synthesis that can be the DNA gyrase or the RNA polymerase. What works on the DNA gyrase? Two important drugs work on the DNA gyrase. Number one, Cipro. Number two, Metro, which is the flagell. So what work on the RNA polymerase? Refambin. The last one is protein synthesis. What will work in the protein synthesis? 50S and 30S. The 30S would be tetracycline, like the doxy, and the aminoglucoside, like gentamicin. The 50S, you will find clindamycin and macrolide like erythromycin and linzolid. This video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.